Today we're transferring nukes into full size hives. Hello, I'm Griffey, so welcome to Winnie Griffith, here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well, and we are at the secret site for now, and I've been unloading hives, equipment, the truck was full, I had stuff on the back seat, I wanted to drive in over the bridge today, so I didn't want to bring the trailer, didn't want to overload that bridge, so I haven't got enough stuff for what I actually need, I've got enough for 10 and there's 12 here, so two, I'll have a look, quick look, see the two smallest nukes, they can stay in the nuke for now, but the rest of them are going into full size hives. As you may have seen in my uh, previous video when I was building and sterilizing frames, click the link there to watch that video. I've got five frames in every box, some of these are new, like that is new, but a lot of these are old second hand kit which I've had for a while, they have finally been used years and years of buying really cheap hives over the years in auctions, beekeeping auctions has paid its way massively I don't know how cheap they'll be uh, this day and age but there is beekeeping auction season at the minute so make sure you go and support your local beekeeping auction uh, you can pick up some bargains there, I certainly have over the last uh, many many years, two auctions I used to go to, Pembrokeshire Beekeeping Association auction, that was a really good auction and there was another one in Tavyside, Tavyside Beekeeping Association, so Google those two names, Pembrokeshire and Tavyside, they have got really good auctions, uh, make sure you visit them if you live nearby. So those are the nukes, pickup is now empty, I'm right up the site, really good just to drive right up, no carrying, and uh, yeah, I need a crack on because today is a full day's worth of beekeeper and I need to try and get three four sites done today <clears throat> so today this job is going to be take the longest and the rest of them I'm just knocking supers on and feeding them if I can now the only thing that I didn't bring today what I wanted to bring but I didn't have space for it I wanted to bring 10 feeders plus the syrup um, I just didn't have the space for drums and feeders with all this stuff in the back and uh, it shows you this kind of pickup is too small for beekeeping. It is too small. I, I really need to think about changing this pickup, get something bigger with a much bigger capacity. A four by four van is uh, the route that I'm leaning towards. Like a big um, like MEN van or crafter van, something like that, double cab. Because obviously it's a family truck for me as well. It's not purely for work, the kids, do need to get in here so i'm thinking maybe a big 4x4 van if anyone has got a big 4x4 van let me know in the comments is it any good is it worth me swapping this pickup for a big 4x4 van that's what i'm thinking but anyway in the front i'm gonna give him that so ideally every time you transfer nukes into full size hive you give them syrup that's one of the main rules i like to follow unfortunately today i can't do it but they are gonna have pollen uh, fondant pollen patty so fondant sugar with added pollen in it they're gonna have that instead and um, hopefully back next week and they can have the syrup then but yeah that's what i'm doing today hope you enjoy the video Yeah, we'll get them in a full size hive. So, what we're doing, we've got the floor, enters point in the same way. We're going to put the hive itself, so the nest, into the middle of the brood box and then we're going to backfill these frames to close it up. So always try and have the nest in the middle, that's where the warmest is. Transferring bees from there, 
into there, take this box away and then slide this back to the original location and that will be job done. Shake the bees off the lid into the new box. We're going to start at one end and we're going to put, so this frame will go there, then that frame will go next door in the same order as it is in this hive. That's how we're going to keep this. Fresh honey coming in there, these bees are working. And you can tell these splits were made late last year. Very late, because they haven't drawn all these flames out yet. Or not fully. But it show, shows you can do splits late in the year and for them to come out of winter successfully. Yeah, Queen is starting to lay these frames up. Not much seal brood yet, oh, as you can see the next frame is. Yeah, they're just starting to really get going. Can I give you a better angle? of what I'm doing. Hive tool in there, break the seal, same outside, break the seal. Maybe with a single one, maybe. Look at that frame of brood. Now, there's no point wasting any time inspecting these, really. I mean, you can do, they're not going to swarm. No, I mean, if they were going to swarm, I would have seen queen cells by now. But we're just doing a particular job today, and today's job down here is moving these into full-size hives and not doing inspections. I come back next week and do in-depth inspections. But just a quick visual. The brood in all stages here. The bees are looking very healthy. I'll do a full disease check when I do the inspections. So, because otherwise, you come down and do, oh, I got an hour's worth of work on the side. But then you inspect everything deeply all the time, too much time goes. So, you really gotta set your work. What are you doing today? I do just do that. And then crack on otherwise your time management is all over the place and i am terrible at time management anyway because things i get distracted by stuff and then i go and do that so i really this i'm really going to try and be very very good with my time so in the middle there grab this last frame Slot that in there, and I need to shake the remaining bees from that box into there. Check the box. Can we see the queen in there? She's not. So we can go, go ahead and close this hive up. Smoke them down because we don't need crush them 
if we don't that's there no i did a fondant in here so they're gonna get that back they don't really need it Lid back on that, and that's job done. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing that times 10 on this site. I wish I could fit 12 in, but I couldn't, but yeah. Time to rethink my choice of vehicle for this job. The L200, she's done a really good job up until now, but she is getting a bit too small, so. Something to think about in the future, or very near future maybe. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing there. Now this hive has been slid back to the original location. Now because they're now in a new hive, the bees will be a little bit confused for about two or three minutes. So, what I will do now, I won't transfer this nuke into a full size hive straight away. I'll go and do this one. So by the time I do this one, they'll be all excited. Then I'll go from here and I'll do one over there. Then I'll come back. And once these two have cooled down, not flying crazy everywhere, then I'll do this. You just reduce the risk of drifting by doing it like that. That's uh, quite a handy tip for you there. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And now you feel confident enough in transferring your own nuke into a full size hive that you can do it with these. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.